Ladies and gentlemen, Brett Hankinson took the stand in his own defense and he broke down and cried. They've been crying since Amber Geiger, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Officer and Breonna Taylor Raid said he mistook police gunfire for a suspect. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but let's move on. Former detective who is facing charges of recklessly endangering Breonna Taylor's neighbor during a fatal police raid on her apartment testified at his own trial, and this was on Wednesday, saying that he wrongly interpreted the sound of his fellow officers spraying bullets into Taylor's apartment as that of a suspect firing a rifle at the police. The testimony marked the first time that the detective, Brett Hankinson, has spoken publicly since the botch March 2020 raid in Louisville, Kentucky that left Miss Taylor dead, and he described a chaotic scene and a series of errors. Mr. Hankinson, 45, whose bullets uh, didn't strike anyone, is on trial for three counts of wanton endangerment. Prosecutors say he endangered a family of three. Uh, yeah, there was a family of three that lived right above Brianna Taylor. And they said, you know, he shot into that apartment. Some of the bullets were in the walls and everything, but nobody died. All right. So that apparently is more important than Brianna Taylor losing her life to a hail of bullets from police that never found a single drug in her house. Go figure, right? Okay, so Hankinson wearing a gray suit with a silver tie sounded nervous and he choked up several times as he described the raid during which Officers burst into Taylor's door shortly after midnight in hopes of finding evidence that her former boyfriend had been selling drugs. And they didn't find any drugs in Brianna Taylor's apartment, and they found no drugs at her boyfriend's apartment. That's why they couldn't keep him in jail, ladies and gentlemen. They had, uh, they had expected that she would be home alone, but instead, she was sleeping in bed next to her current boyfriend, Kenneth Walker. When their banging on the door woke her up, the police knocked down the door. And Mr. Walker, who later said he believed the officers were intruders, fired the handgun once, striking an officer in the thigh. But that's not true because they said when they got the bullet from the officer's thigh, it did not match Kenneth Walker's gun. So one of the other cops had to shoot at his leg. You know, that's where that bullet went. Okay, three officers fired 32 shots in return, several of which hit Miss Taylor, a 26-year-old emergency room technician. Miss Taylor's death was one of several police killings of black people across the United States in 2020 that led millions of protesters to take to America's streets, sidewalks, and plazas. Mr. Hankinson, who had worked for Louisville Metro Police Department for about 17 years before he was fired in wake of the raid, testified that when Mr. Walker fired at the officers, the muzzle flash illuminated the hallway inside the apartment and allowed him to briefly see a shadowy figure standing there in a shooting position. He said that the flash and loudness of the gunshot led him to wrongfully, for, uh, to wrongfully believe that Mr. Walker had fired an AR-15 style rifle rather than a handgun. Then as, as Mr. Hankinson ran away from the door and to the outside of the apartment complex, he heard 
a volley of shots that he believed were being fired by a figure he had seen inside. But there were actually 22 gunshots uh, that two other officers were firing in return. Hankinson wiped his nose and eyes and described his fear that officers were being shot as they tried to uh, tend to a wounded officer, and that was Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly. I knew Sergeant Mattingly was down, and I knew there were they were trying to get him and it appeared to me that they were being executed with this rifle, Mr. Hankinson said. The only one that died that night was Breonna Taylor. You know, I just can't help but believe that this dude is just making this all up, but uh, let me just go with this. From the side of the building, Mr. Hankinson fired 10 bullets through a sliding glass door in Taylor's apartment and a window, both of which were covered by blinds. Mr. Hankinson lawyer was asking him uh, what he had been aiming at. And Mr. Hankinson said he had been firing towards the muzzle flashes that he saw in the apartment. Mr. Walker did not fire his gun after his initial shot. Okay, so what did you see from the inside of the apartment? Boy, these cops lie so much. I, I'm sorry, I'm not buying his story. But y'all can tell me what you think. In June 2020, police chief at the time fired Hankinson, writing a letter that Mr. Hankinson had blindly fired into the apartment, described his action as a shock to the conscious. Mr. Hankinson is the only officer to be indicted over his actions during the raid. Several of the grand jurors who returned the indictment said that the Kentucky Attorney General's office, which is handling the prosecution, did not present them with the possibility of pursuing charges against either of the two officers who shot Ms. Taylor. Yeah, because uh, Daniel Cameron purposely left that out so that he wanted it to appear that the grand jury did not pursue this. And it was actually Daniel Cameron's fault on why Breonna Taylor is never getting her day in court. Hankinson was the last witness to testify at his trial and jurors were expected to begin deliberating on Thursday. Under Kentucky law, a person commits the crime of wanton endangerment when he or she is wantingly engaged in conduct which creates a substantial danger of life or serious physical injury to another person. The crime does not require that someone intend to harm someone or commit a crime. It is punishable by up to five years in prison. He probably ain't gonna get nothing, y'all, because you know, in this country, one thing I do know, they hate to do anything to these cops. And if he does get a sentence, you can best believe it's not gonna ever be what he really truly deserves. And that's the death of Brianna Taylor. You know, as long as he's not being brought on those charges, anything else he's getting is a bunch of nothing as far as I'm concerned. But y'all, please tell me what you think. The old crying act on, on the stand, you know, they all seem to be doing it these days. They must have gotten the memo. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peaks family.